Artificial Island, Wikipedia article audio An artificial island or man-made island is an island that has been constructed by people rather than formed by natural means. Artificial islands may vary in size from small islets reclaimed solely to support a single pillar of a building or structure, to those that support entire communities and cities. Early artificial islands included floating structures in still waters, or wooden or megalithic structures erected in shallow waters. In modern times artificial islands are usually formed by land reclamation, but some are formed by the incidental isolation of an existing piece of land during canal construction, or flooding of valleys resulting in the tops of former knolls getting isolated by water. The largest artificial island, Renalavasar Island, was formed by flooding of two adjacent reservoirs. History Largest artificial islands according to their size Despite a popular image of modernity, artificial islands actually have a long history in many parts of the world, dating back to the reclaimed islands of ancient Egyptian civilization the stilt crannogs of prehistoric Scotland and Ireland, the ceremonial centres of Nan Madal in the Micronesia and the still extant floating islands of Lake Titicaca. The city of Tenochtitlan, the Aztec predecessor of Mexico City that was home to 500,000 people when the Spaniards arrived, stood on a small natural island in Lake Texcoco that was surrounded by countless artificial China Middle Islands. The people of Longalongalagoon and Lao Lagoon in Malaita, Solomon Islands built about 60 artificial islands on the reef including Funafu, Sulafu, and Ada Edge. The people of Lao Lagoon built islands on the reef as these provided protection against attack from the people who lived in the center of Malaita. These islands were formed literally one rock at a time. A family would take their canoe out to the reef which protects the lagoon and then dive for rocks, bring them to the surface and then return to the selected site and drop the rocks into the water. Living on the reef was also healthier as the mosquitoes, which infested the coastal swamps, were not found on the reef islands. The Lao people continue to live on the reef islands. Many artificial islands have been built in urban harbors to provide either a site deliberately isolated from the city or just spare real estate otherwise unobtainable in a crowded metropolis. An example of the first case is Dejima, created in the Bay of Nagasaki in Japan's Edo period as a contained center for European merchants. During the isolationist era, Dutch people were generally banned from Nagasaki and Japanese from Dejima. Similarly, Ellis Island, in Upper New York Bay beside New York City, a former tiny islet greatly expanded by land reclamation, served as an isolated immigration center for the United States in the late 19th and early 20th century preventing an escape to the city of those refused entry for disease or other perceived flaws, who might otherwise be tempted toward illegal immigration. One of the most well-known artificial islands is the Isle Notre Dame in Montreal, built for Expo 67. The Venetian Islands in Miami Beach, Florida, in Biscayne Bay added valuable new real estate during the Florida land boom of the 1920s. When the bubble that the developers were riding burst, the bay was left scarred with the remnants of their failed project. A boomtown development company was building a seawall for an island that was to be called Isola de Lolando but could not stay in business after the 1926 Miami hurricane and the Great Depression, dooming the island building project. The concrete pilings from the project still stand as another development boom roared around them, 80 years later. In 1969, the Flavopolder in the Netherlands was finished, as part of the Zeewijder Zee Works. It has a total land surface of 970 km2, 
which makes it by far the largest artificial island by land reclamation in the world. The island consists of two polders Eastern Flavoland and Southern Flavoland. Together with the Nordust polder, which includes some small former islands like Urk, the polders form Flavoland, the twelfth province of the Netherlands that almost entirely consists of reclaimed land. Modern Projects The Pearl Qatar is in the north of the Qatar capital Doha, home to a range of residential, commercial and tourism activities. Canet Cartier is designed to be a virtual Venice in the Middle East. La Salle and large areas around RAS Laffin, Hamid International Airport and Hamid Port. The UAE is home to several artificial island projects. They include the Yas Island, Augment Ions to Saadi Yat Island, Khalifa Port, Al Reem Island, Al Lulu Island, Al Raha Creek, Al Hudariyat Island, Palm Islands Projects, and the World, the Universe, and the Dubai Waterfront. Of all these, only the Palm Jumeirah is complete and inhabited so far. Also, the Burj Al Arab is on its own artificial island. The Universe, Palm Jebel Ali, Dubai Waterfront, and Palm Dara are on hold. Netherlands China has conducted a land reclamation project which had built at least seven artificial islands in the South China Sea totaling 2,000 acres in size by mid-2015. One artificial island built on Fiery Cross Reef near the Spratly Islands is now the site of a military barracks, lookout tower and a runway long enough to handle Chinese military aircraft. Kansai International Airport is the first airport to be built completely on an artificial island in 1994, followed by Chbo Centraire International Airport in 2005, and both the new Kita Kyushu Airport and Kobe Airport in 2006, and Ordugirasun Airport in 2016. When Hong Kong International Airport opened in 1998, 75% of the property was created using land reclamation upon the existing islands of Czech Lapkok and Lam Chow. Currently China is building several airports on artificial islands, they include runways of Shanghai International Airport Daily and Jinzhouan International Airport being built on a 21 square kilometer artificial island Xiamen Xiangan International Airport. Sanya Hungtangguan International Airport designed by Bentley Systems which is being built on a 28 square kilometer artificial islands. A view of Kansai International Airport from space. Qatar. Palm Jumeirah in Dubai. UAE. A closer view of the Palm Jumeirah. China. North Star Island, an artificial island for oil drilling in the Beaufort Sea. To prepare the artificial island, a large amount of sand is required. This preparation of sand may cause environmental pollution. For example, Singapore dredged 500 million tons of sand to prepare an artificial island. This sand removal caused desertification to a fishing town having a bad effect on the ecosystem. Airports Under the United Nations Convention on the Law of the Sea Treaty, artificial islands are not considered harbour works and are under the jurisdiction of the nearest coastal state if within 200 nautical miles. Artificial islands are not considered islands for purposes of having their own territorial waters or exclusive economic zones and only the coastal state may authorize their construction, however, on the high seas beyond national jurisdiction, any state may construct artificial islands. Gallery Controversial Side Effect Political Status